Rolex has the Yacht Master, Omega the Sea Master, Patek Philippe has the Nautilus. We, we've got the Black Pearl. the worst pirate I have ever seen. Hey guys, I'm Max and welcome back to Hope Once. So Halloween is just around the corner and I've always wanted to do a watch build that had sort of a dark and spooky theme. Maybe something based on a famous movie pirate ship. So when Namoki Mods reached out to do a collaboration, I jumped at the chance because I've been shopping with them for years. Now, usually us modders, we need to scrounge the internet for parts to put a build together, but given Namoki's growing selection, I wanted to challenge myself and see if we can complete a full build from one website. So let's dive in and see the parts that I've selected. So everything came from Namoki in these cute little tins. We've got everything from the case to dial to hands and even gaskets to build a complete watch. First order of business is to insert the chapter ring and mount the crystal. Now I made sure to rotate the case as I press down to seat the crystal squarely in the case. Next we also press on the coin edge bezel. Now it's time to mount the dial to the movement. I've gone with this skeleton dial for the pirate theme. The dial has four feet on the back, two of which have to be removed to fit this case with a three o'clock crown. Next we move on to the hands. They're all mounted at the 12 o'clock position for proper alignment and pressed on with this hand installer. The second hand is especially tricky, and it takes a while to get it aligned on the pinion. Once the hands are installed, we rotate them to make sure nothing interferes with each other. And finally, it's time to marry the case with the movement, getting it nice and snug in there. We're in the home stretch now. I've cut the stem down to size and mounted it onto the crown. Next we install the gasket and the case back. Lastly we mount the bezel and make sure everything lines up and ticks along nicely. As you might know, the 62 MAS was Seiko's first dive watch with its iconic cushion shape. And this black Yachtmaster bezel gives it sort of an ocean going theme. And together with this skeleton dial, I thought it would be appropriate to name it after the Black Pearl from Pirates of the Caribbean. Now, if you like this build so far, be sure to drop a like for the video and also consider subscribing so you don't miss out on future builds. Now let's check the watch out in the wild. So one of the annoying things about most Seiko builds is the thick cases that you have to put up with. To help address this, Namoki has developed this thin case back to take a bit of height off the typical Bobus SKX version. I've chosen to add a couple of red accents like this signed crown to match the second hand and to break up the monotony of the color scheme. One of the worries when you put a build together is whether it presents with a cohesive design, and I think this one nails that monochromatic look. It's a bit unimatic, a bit autodromo, both of which has that abstract, deconstructed theme. I'm overall very impressed with the quality and fit of the parts. The ceramic bezel is crisp and really gives the watch a tough and brash character. The gunmetal chapter ring has little triangles at the hours which echo their larger counterparts at 12, all lit up with beautiful superluminova. 
Namoki also makes a selection of steel bracelets as well for their cases with custom inlinks, and this oyster looks great on the watch, but I actually prefer it on this gray Barton silicon strap, which has a nice texture and is very soft and comfortable for daily wear. In terms of dimensions, the case is well proportioned and doesn't wear overly large, mainly because the lugs are compact and are carved from the case rather than extending from it. The case has a nice brushed top surface and polished sides, and even on my 6.5 inch wrist, it wears nice and snug. If I was to search for one criticism, it would be that the painted hands are not as sharp as they can be up close, but you only notice that with a macro lens. Overall, I think we accomplished a dark and moody look with a nautical overtone, and this has to be one of my favorite builds from beginning to end. So what I love about these Seiko builds is that you can take a wild vision and make it come to life, put a personal spin on your favorite homage, or start with a clean sheet of paper. If you can think of it, you can probably build it. Now I wanna thank again, Namoki for their help with this creation. They have a really clean website, and as you can see, everything you need for a watch build. And let me know in the comments below what ideas you might have for my next build. So thanks for watching, until next time, take care.